hello and thank you for visiting my channel this is Casey and today I'm going to do a tutorial on artboard uh, this is my first tutorial in Illustrator Illustrator is one of the most used vector graphic software and it's used by graphic designers for many things um, to start with maybe logos and so on and so on so quickly let me create a new file you have you can name your file here and uh, from this point I can choose um, can select for starting let me do a 4 you can also change the units here you can use millimeters you can use centimeters pixel so I'm going to click OK this is my window you can see my preview is 100% you can zoom in and zoom out just like most of the graphic softwares you can zoom in and zoom out and the shortcut to zoom in and zoom out is control plus okay that is going to 150 uh, to zoom in you can do control minus okay these are just basic um, shortcuts for illustrator now previously I used our challenges in changing this canvas the previous version of this is uh, this is Adobe uh, CS6 the previous version of Adobe had uh, this option where you can at a, at a document setup you can change this this part but uh, for now the this document setup is mostly used to do the, the bleeds and um, this is you can also click like the edit, edit artboard from that point but previously you could uh, manipulate the same thing from that point now here i'm going to click artboard which is also shift o and once i do that i can pull drag around this using these handles and change the size of my document to whichever dimensions that i'm looking for okay now you can also uh, change this this is now in inches and what usually happens is that most people will create a document here and if, if everything doesn't work they'll end up now maybe canceling and creating a new document now you can use the presets of your design you can still take it back to a4 okay a3 b5 b4 and these are other video formats now you can also change the orientation of of, uh, of your um, of your design to portrait or to landscape like this is now a uh, landscape so that, that's portrait and this is landscape you can also create new artboard you can also show center mark here using that you can also sh show crosshair like that from the outside and this one here it's used for uh, video safe areas if you're going to transfer this to uh, video editing softwares like uh, after effects premiere and so on and so on so i'm going to uncheck that if you want to keep those in in check you can go ahead and do so now when you're using the artboard here i can also come here and change the predefined uh, uh, width and height and i can you can link it here for example if you want a proportional output you can say you can connect this and you link it so if I change this it will proportionally move to the same size uh, of this let's say let's first of all disconnect and say I want to do um, 6 by 3 okay 6 by 3 enter now if I link this and change this to 12 not that it's I'm going to double this not that I'm going to double the 6 to 12 so this will also go to 6 so if I change this to 12 this goes to 6 so this is how you can manipulate your artwork uh, in that manner now one other thing whereby people get lost in the process is that um, once you create this you can as well change the units that you're using for example you realize that when after creating a document you decide you you realize that uh, your artboard is showing inches you can go to view rulers show rulers and you can right click from here 
you can right click from here and change your units at this point and you can say I'm going to do millimeters okay now this will change the units to millimeters if you want again to change it to return to 10 to make it to pixels you, you can do it from pixels and that's that's it so if you want like maybe let's say uh, a constraint to 800 you can do that and 800 to 400 and it's actually fitting to you to your artboard one other thing i want to mention before i move on to the next step on how to align the your artboard you can use control one okay control one fits your artboard to a hundred percent if you want to fill your artboard to your workspace you do control zero and you can see it has stretched from a corner to corner and it's actually now at 121 percent those are some of the shortcuts that i'm going to be giving you as you move along now one thing that i always use i'm going to create an object here let's say i'm going to do uh sorry a rectangle let me just do a black one okay now this re this rectangle i want it to align at the center of this artboard okay now here this is what you do at this point you can use this icon align to artboard other ways of doing it you can come here and say you click on align and then you can go to distribution and spacing you can come align to it's the same thing that shows here that's what uh, is popping up from this point so if you see aligned artboard and you click this horizontal align center you'll find that this moves to to center and if you do the vertical align center it moves to to that position so what has happened here is that if i do control one you'll find that this rectangle is at absolute center of both the the width and the height so it's at the center of this and um, i'm going to do an eclipse here and i'm holding shift as i do this so that it becomes a perfect circle now if i do the same you'll find that it drops in the middle of this now this is different from when you say align selection now align selection this is a selection of two objects now if i was to put these two objects and align them horizontal and vertical i'll put it there and put it there now this one is it doesn't matter where it is but if i want to now push it to align to the artboard i'll change this align to the artboard so this is one of the things that i wanted to show you because most people have had challenges in aligning objects it's a good way to use this functionality because it gives you a more professional approach um, because you know the funny thing about a naked eye and i'll show you with this when let me just use this two rectangles here i'll duplicate this yeah by the naked eye you can tell that these these rectangles are not aligned but once you align this and you put them at the center but like this it's abnormal even if maybe uh, I, I do uh, I copy another one and let's say I align this and this you'll find that uh, if I put this at the center you'll find that this and this is not in line so this is my first tutorial I'm going to give you of the fine things that people skip and you they will really help you in future when you when you want to create uh, layouts and grids and so on. Thank you so much.